Happy solstice, everyone. It's Miss Coconut. How are you doing? I'm doing well. So, because it is the solstice, I thought this would be a great time to give you a little story. And I have a question to ask you. So, I was watching this crime recording of this basically Ken and Barbie type style killers. They were a married couple. She was about 17 when she met him. And he was about 25 or so and they fell in love and eventually they got married. But instead of going on to live there happily ever after, they became some crazed psycho killers. Otto and Kathy Homoka, in true, true horror fashion, did the unthinkable. Not only did they rape and murder a few young ladies they also did that to her own baby sister who happened to be about i don't know 15 they got her drunk and took advantage of her they both took advantage of her and did all kinds of horrible things to her sexually and she ended up dying from choking from vomiting or suffocating or something and they called 911 and acted as if she was drunk and just choked on her own saliva and everyone believed them and they got away with it because look at them. They look like Ken and Barbie, right? So over the course of the years, they continue to do this type of crime and eventually they get caught. What was interesting to me is that where they said the husband had some troubled times growing up in his family. Because at some point he found out that he was in a affair baby. So he was not the child of his father, who he thought was his father. So there were some issues in his family. But they say, by all accounts, she had the perfect upbringing. She's the oldest child. She was like the beautiful one, the blue-eyed, blonde hair, superstar. Everyone loved her, outgoing. But the friends say that eventually, as she grew up and she hit the teenage years, she became a little strange because she started dabbling in the occult. So, no one can explain how this all-American girl ended up with a psycho killer and participated in all of these heinous acts that they did on people. And no one can believe or understand how did she get so depraved, right? But what I want to ask y'all is, do you think she dabbled in something in the occult world that attached itself to her and that it was some kind of demonic entity operating through her that when linked with the psycho killer husband, it was brought forth? I know that's a lot to take in. <laughs> Look that story up. Tell me what you think, though. Tell me what you think. Do you think that people are born like this, like nurture versus nature? Because she, by all accounts, was cultivating in a loving, stable home. So what would drive her to commit these terrible acts? All right. Thank you for listening. I'm Shreem Brezzy.